Hey there, this is just a quick video on how you can make this little neat dash effect. This thing where you have sort of a trail and and you have like this transparent uh, image behind the main thing. So what you see on the screen is basically just a particle effect in action. So for example you throw a shield or just like two guys with a minigun. So yeah this is how you can do for example this is just being used a lot of times for a trail effect in like some projectiles or a dash you can use and it looks pretty nice actually so how is this whole thing set up it's very very easy basically we just have our particle system um, set up here where we as usually create it first of all and then we just do a few parameters how to do it. So first of all we create the particle and then we create the particle with a timer in the Jeep object itself. So first of all we create our um, particle and we just call it Jeep Fate because that's what it's basically is. So we create an empty particle, add it here then first of all we assign it to a sprite if you've seen my other particle tutorial there's nothing new here it's just a different application of it and it's a very useful one how you could do it and there we just use this nice little sprite i made with the two guys on the jeep and they do basically not a lot they just uh, cruise on this jeep and chill out so we go into our particle setup again and take the jeep sprite say animation no stretch no random yeah why not but they are very similar so it doesn't really matter here the next thing is we want to assign it a specific size which we're not going to change because well why should we this is just a demo sprite no 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 size Hello? Ah, here we go. So, again, we assign it the empty particle and we want to go for one and one as mid and max size. We don't want it to really increase. We could, but we don't do this here. And we do, of course, not. And after that, we define the things which are quite important here. This is a little bit. Well, it's not really new, but these values define how the particle will look like so we go for again for our empty particle and now we go for a very very short duration of one third of a second and we don't need anything else because we just want it to quickly appear and quickly fade out again and that we do with our alpha value you could go for example with alpha 1 so just put in one alpha value but it looks definitely neater if you go um, between a few values it's just um, more smoother operation than you would do it um, well just with one value and the next thing is a color which, which we wanted to overlay because we want some tinting here so we go in here and add a color and for this one we go for C green and we are almost finished it's a little bit big and now we need to go into our Jeep which is empty and it does nothing and what we do here we just create a timer and once it runs out it refreshes with the time so this is just a standard setup of a switch which I always like to do so we just take our timer let it run down so it can produce the particle and after it reaches a zero value we want it to refresh so we take this one and if you reach zero, zero then we can refresh it and in, by the refreshing we also create the particle so here we refresh it and the next thing is we just take 
our particle which we just created and put it in. Of course it's in the setup object so we need to take it out from there. How is it called? Okay. Uh, back to the Jeep. So particle system and the next thing is the particle. How did we call it? Um, Jeep fake. Alright. I hope you don't mind me jumping quite quickly because I don't want to bore you guys with stuff you already know. And here we just create one particle and we are pretty much done here. It's not moving. Let him move a little bit. Let's say four, six. Of course, it's depending how many of those shadow sprites you want to do of this dash sprite. And you can do it in a different way. Uh, I've seen it in uh, some videos where you just create all the time a new object and it grabs the value of the of the object you say you're you're using and this is more dynamic but the version with the particle is more resource um, saving but both ways are creating the same effect so this is another way how to do it have a good one one up in